Today on Trisha. I am your wife and you have children. You don't need space. You need to make up to your only priority. Brittany suspects her girlfriend Candace is cheating. Why are you texting ex girlfriends? Why are you on the phone with Brittany at 3 o'clock in the morning? What are you talking about at 3 o'clock in the morning? Anyway, it doesn't matter what we're talking about. With her own best friend. What do I want with her? I got my own girlfriend. What do you mean, that? If you don't want her, for real, stop answering her phone calls. If you don't if want to have a girlfriend, don't need to look at me. I'm beautiful. Is Brittany crazy in love? She cleans your house? Yes, ain't that what a woman's supposed to do? No, it's all it's all it's all it's all I have just heard the most sexist remark on my show from a woman. <laughs> or is Brittany just crazy? When I what? got home off work, I looked out the window. She's in my backyard. Look at the, look at in my window. Like, what are you doing? So what are you hiding in the bushes watching or something? You know, something like that. When Krista and Calvin met, she was the other woman. When we started dating, he was cheating on his ex with me. When he came home without his underwear, Krista was convinced that she was the one being cheated on. He's come home without his boxes. I had an ex and I was sick. I was sick. Yeah, I had the flu. A grown I ass man, a grown healthy hey, man I has cancer. So. Today, the truth will be laid bare. You need sex three times a day. Are you having sex with him three times a day? No. Have you had any sexual intercourse with any other person other than Krista? The lie detective determined. I swear to God, baby. This is what you I, said I that you were going to come I, on here and do, too. Is it your old lie detector going to be wrong? Today on Trisha. meet Brittany. She's madly in love with her girlfriend of almost two years, Candice, but their relationship could end today. Yep. You see, Brittany found texts and Facebook messages from Candice to other women. But that is not all. Brittany caught Candice having late night phone chats with her own best friend, Rainy. Well, now she suspects they've been hooking up behind her back. So let's listen to how she describes this alleged double betrayal. I'm here today to find out if my girlfriend Candace is cheating on me with multiple women, especially my best friend Rainy. Me and Candace have been together for a year and a half. We started off friends and then we decided to get in a relationship, but clearly she wasn't ready. I have caught Candace texting ex-girlfriends all the time, especially my best friend Rainy at three o'clock in the morning. Brainy is my friend. There's no reason for you to be hiding and covering up for Candace when you know she's doing wrong. I've also caught Candace in the club getting numbers from a girl that she said was for her friend, and then I turn around and look at the phone bill and she's texting her. I cook, I clean, I wash your clothes, and you're still having the audacity to text other females and tell them that you love them? No. See this ring she gave me? If she fails this test, she can have it back, because I'm done, there's no point. Hey. friend Rainy is backstage and she's ready to take on these accusations against her and we'll get to her in a moment but let's start with you Brittany what is it you suspect Candace are doing sleeping with women texting women having conversations with your exes that you're not supposed to be having mm -hmm. there should be no reason why you text your ex-girlfriend and tell her that you love her when you claim to send me the same text message you shouldn't miss them you're so with that's me that's what you've seen in the text message yes wow there's no point there's, you shouldn't you complain about how bad they are, but then you constantly are texting. I've changed Candace's number so many times in the last year and a half. It's Why? Not even Why? Funny. Because they keep getting her number. It's either it, her excuse is either somebody else gives it to them, or some, or she gives it to them, or it's just on Facebook. No, I'm over it. I'm done. There's no excuse anymore. All right, let's go back to the beginning. Okay. Now. Let's go right back to the beginning when you and Candace got together. So you're both two single women, right? I was single. <laughs> what do you mean? I was single. I was 100% single. <laughs> Candace? Candace was living with, as she would say, somebody she was having sex with. And Did they she, were she told you this from the get-go? No. I found out because I called her one night after me hanging out with my friends. It was yeah. 2 o'clock in the morning. 
and I'm hearing a lot of females arguing, chattering, whatever the case may be. Yeah. Then the phone, I, the, I hear the phone get snatched and the phone hangs up on me. So you hang, so I call back, so you hang up on me? No, my ex-girlfriend hung up on you. Okay, time out. Why are you with your ex-girlfriend and why is it two o'clock in the morning and she's there? Now, the other thing you said, you, you, you're living together at the moment? No, not as of three months ago. Why, what happened? I'm tired, I'm fed up, I'm over it. I don't, I don't want to have to keep waking up. You work overnight. I have, I have to go as far as checking check stubs to make sure you're at work when you say you're at work. What do you think she's doing then? She's not working? You know, I, I, I drop her off at work. I drop her off at the door. She goes about her business. Do I know she goes into work? No, I don't. Do you trust her with your best friend, Ray? No, not if you're talking at 3 o'clock in the morning. How can I trust either one of y'all? What are you calling my girlfriend? What is my girlfriend calling my best friend for at 3 o'clock in the morning? What are you talking about? Wow. So look, it, it, you, do you check the phone records? I pay the phone bill, so why not? Now you're living separate. I guess you don't have to look after her anymore. Mm, 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 that's a lie. Well, what <laughs> I do you have do? To, I have to check on Candace. I have to do that. So what do you do? You go over to her house and do what? Okay, I don't really... She doesn't initially know that I go to her house, but there's... I, I, okay, don't judge me. Don't, just don't judge me. I have... I, I can go there. I can, I can go there. Like, I want to, I don't, you get off hey, at what, seven. So what, what do you do when you sneak over to her house? I go in her backyard, and Ken, I know Candace's routine very well. She opens her window when she first gets home. I have to make sure nobody is either walking in with you or nobody is already there. So what, are you hiding in the bushes watching or something? You know, something like that. I... <laughs> If you're in a relationship where you're constantly being lied to 100 and all the time, yeah, why, why would, not? Be, all right, let me, why put not? It, <laughs> let me put it another way. If you're in a relationship where you're being lied to all the time, why are you in the relationship? Because I love Kim. Yeah. I, I do love her. I, I love her to the extent of... I love Candace to where I will defend you, I will, I'm loyal to you, and I don't... But Candace you don't the, know that she's loyal to, to you back. You're right, I know. So, who do you think she might be cheating on you with your best friend, Rainy, because of these 3 a.m. text messages? Any other women, her exes, are you there's, worried about? There's two other exes that I am concerned about. Why? You saw text to Text them? messages, and then when I go out, these girls look at me like I'm crazy, like... Maybe you, you are. You know, I, and that's okay. <laughs> that's fine. I'll be crazy. I will do that. I will be crazy. Yeah. But the fact is, don't... You know we're, you know we're in a relationship. Yeah. So, at the end of the day, y'all are both wrong because you you look at me and it's like, okay, well, y'all are together, but just the other day she was texting me. Okay, well, if that's the case, you're wrong, too, because yeah, you feel the yeah. need that it's okay for her to be in a relationship and for you to text her. Now, you've got a little girl. Yes, I do. She's five. Yeah. Now, how does your little girl come into all of this? Do you think you, you put end up putting Candace above her because of all this friction going on? No, that'll never happen. So that never happens. Good. That'll never happen. Good. Because here was my worry that this little girl has to almost compete for your affections because Oh, of... no. No, no, because this is hard as I go for Candace, I go ten times harder for my baby. Good. And that's just what it is. Good. Now, what happens if you find out that Candace has been messing around? Me and Candace were supposed to get married next year. And if Candace does not pass, or if I find out Candace is doing anything, mm -hmm. You're gonna, she, you're gonna have to, you know, take her home with you because I can't. She uh -huh, can't go home her. with me. <laughs> take her home with you. You can be the one sneaking and checking phone no, records. I I'll give all that I to you. Not, you know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I understand you go over to her house and you still clean and do things for her at her house. For her. you said you cooked, you cleaned, you did I things. I do for that. Her. Yes. That's Why? I'm, I'm her girlfriend. And that's what I'm. That's what I'm supposed to do. I've been married for seventeen. <laughs> yeah, just let me tell you. Uh, just before you clap. <laughs> I've been married for 17 years, and my husband and I share the workplace. <laughs> so, you know, so what is this? And, and, and that's a guy who isn't cheating, isn't... I don't have to hide in bushes to check out what he's doing. Here's this woman you say you think is cheating on you, and yet you're still going over and cleaning and, and doing a house. You have a daughter. You work. She's a single woman on her own. What's the matter? Hands tied behind her back? You know, <laughs> oh, come on. That's not it. Candace is not... I feel that when I, when I got to... What I, how I got you 
what I was doing to get you is what I need to do to keep well, you. Well, look, as you know, Candice has been listening backstage. So let's hear her side of the story. Candice, come on out. Coming up, she cleans your house? But she, yes, ain't that what a woman's supposed to do? No, if I'm coming, if I'm coming. I have just heard the most sexist remark on my show from a woman. And later, is Calvin cheating on Krista? He's come out without his boxes. I had an accident. I was sick. I was sick. Yeah, I had the flu. What grown ass man? I'm healthy. Yes, man. The truth is revealed. You're lying now. No, you're lying no, 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 no. Today on Trisha. I'm here today to find out if my girlfriend Candace is cheating on me with multiple women, especially my best friend Rainy. I've also caught Candace in the club getting numbers from a girl that she said was for her friend, and then I turn around and look at the phone bill and she's texting her. See this ring she gave me? If she fails this test, she can have it back, because I'm done, there's no point. Do you trust her with your best friend, right? No, not if you're talking at 3 o'clock in the morning. How can I trust either one of y'all? If you're in a relationship where you're being lied to all the time, why are you in the relationship? <laughs> because I love him. Well, look, as you know, Candace has been listening backstage, so let's hear her side of the story. Candace, come on out. Brittany, <laughs> really? I'm cheating on you? I'm <laughs> not. Nah, nobody you're cheating not? on you. You're not? Ain't nobody cheating okay, on you. Okay, if you're not cheating on me, then why are you, why are you texting ex-girlfriends? Why are you friends. on the phone I with Brittany at 3 o'clock in the morning? You why sleep. You? I don't, I don't care about you. Sleep. Sleep. I have okay, priorities. I'm like everybody else. Priorities, you know so what's the difference? Go go on electricity three words. Set an alarm. Wake up. Oh, Set an alarm for what? So I can talk for to what? you. For what? For what? Yeah, I'm, I'm so you're to gonna you. talk to me while you're yes. texting? Why you on the phone with me? You're gonna be texting everybody no, else. I don't too? text everybody That's else. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's okay, a lie. Okay, let's find out. Let's find out. 3 a.m. You're having these text conversations with her best friend. What's that about? If I'm in a relationship with you, I obviously have to get along with your friends. If I'm not getting along with your friends, then I work overnight. What 3 a.m. 3 a.m. What are you talking about? Me, what are you talking about? It's like, uh, she asked me a question. What are you talking about at 3 o'clock in the morning? Talk down, talk down. What are you talking about at 3 o'clock in the morning? Can I ask you a question? What are you talking about at 3 o'clock in the morning? Anyway, it doesn't matter what we are talking about. 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 So what are you talking about at 3 o'clock in the morning? Mm -hmm. Nothing. It's just a casual conversation. About what? What are you doing? About what? Nothing. We're not then talking about you talking about? about? What's because the you're asleep. It Wake doesn't up. matter. Get up. It doesn't matter. Get up for what? Okay. All right. Now, I understand it that when you two met, when you two got together, you were living with somebody else at the time. Yes. Wow. Who were you lying to? With the person you were living with or her? I wasn't lying with anybody. You're, you're lying now because no, you're lying to both of us. You're lying now because you're lying to both of us. You're lying now because you're lying to both of us. That's it. Okay. No. Let, let no. me hear. Can I hear what she has to say? So, when you were staying with this friend, you weren't having sex with that No. Friend. At the time, we were not sleeping together at the time. Have you ever cheated on any other girlfriend? No. So I'm not you're going saying... to cheat. Well, if I'm going to cheat, I might as well be single. <laughs> okay. What about this text that Brittany says uh, you had an argument about in the early days where you said you were using her for her money? And I can quote the text message, Boo. So oh, don't please play. do. Please do. What don't did play. it say? I can quote the text message. So, what's it say? Go on. I'm yeah, just, what's it say? Babe, it's okay. I'll be home soon. I'm just over here because I'm trying to get money for the electric bill. What do I have to do with your electric bill? First of all, I wasn't trying to get money for I don't need you for your money. So you, I work, so I have so my you own, lied to I have my own job. So you were lying to All right, you know, so, so why did you send job. that text? Because this one right here, you know, I'm not in a, uh, since I'm in a CIA relationship, since you, she, you know, sure the hell she I does all the these things. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to send you text messages to piss you off. You're accusing me anyway, so why not? So you're intentionally trying to make me mad, so you intentionally you get want mad me to get my ass wrong. Fuck you? you get mad. That's what you want. I mean, what That's what you want. I'm interested here. She sees these text uh, messages okay. because apparently yeah. Brittany pays your phone bill. I was paying my own phone bill. Then she offers to pay the bill. I'm like, oh, that's cool. You know, you're going to help me down. But nah, she's Why paying, not offer? She's Why paying the offer? bill so she can go through every little number like, oh, who is this? That's Do you what, know that she hides in the this? bushes right, and sneaks around? Do I found out when what? I got home off work. Oh, you night. saw her? Man, I come home, you know, I go. When I get home, I let my window up, you know, she'll relax. I'm like, I have a dog. I'm like, what is this dog doing? Is she playing with somebody? I looked at the window. She's in my backyard. <laughs> look at the, look at the, in my window. Like, what are you doing? As soon as we went our separate ways, who, who was at your house? Oh. My what? ex was at my Why house. Why was she at your house? Because we are friends. Uh, if a 
as you say, you've been, you're innocent, you haven't done anything. Uh, according to you, if the lie detector test comes back and says you're innocent, do you want something to change? I would love to be with her. She's like, she's great. When, when she's in her moment and we're fine, we are great together. She, she cleans your house? But she, yes. And she looks cooks? Yes. She pays your phone bill? Yes, ain't that what a woman's supposed to do? No, if I'm coming, if I'm coming. Gentlemen, I have just heard the most sexist remark on my show from a woman. <laughs> All right, let's follow your line. Ain't that supposed to be what a woman's supposed to do? You're a woman too, why don't you do it? back we'll meet rainy the woman at the heart of this alleged love triangle and we will reveal the results of both candace and rainy's lie detector test so stay tuned <laughs> coming up what do i want with her i got my own girlfriend what do you mean if that? you don't want her for real stop answering her phone for real. calls if you don't if want to have a girlfriend don't be looking me i'm beautiful and later is Calvin cheating on Krista? He's come out without his boxes. I had an accident. I was sick. I was sick. Yeah, I had the flu. What grown-ass man? I'm from Kelsey. I told you. Yeah. Revealed. You're lying now. No, you're lying no, to both no, of them. Today on Trisha. <laughs> Welcome back. We've been talking to Brittany, who's just moments away from finding out if her girlfriend of almost two years, Candace, has been secretly hooking up with her best friend Rainey. Now, Brittany claims she's witnessed Candace and Rainey giving each other what? Looks? You see them giving each other looks? Y'all know how friends, or when you're in a relationship, you know, you and your husband, y'all have a connection. Y'all can look at each other and just you know, know what each other, yeah, that's Rainy and Candace. I can't leave Rainy and Candace alone because it's like, what, what, no, 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 <laughs> no, no. I'll be in jail for that one, so no, I'm good. So there's good. that, there's the 3 a.m. phone sessions, all those things. Now Rainy says Candace may be cheating, but it's not with her. So let's meet Rainy, come on out. Fall. <laughs> you can't be mad now, boo, because you oh, you made you answer my mad. Why why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? Why'd you meet me? Because what do I want with her? I got my own girlfriend. What I you mean? mean if that? you don't want her, stop answering her phone calls. If you don't want to have a girlfriend, don't be looking at me. I'm brittle. I'm beautiful. For real? For real? Talk about you. For real? Talk about it. No, that ain't even what it is. Oh, no, I don't so don't go, don't don't go there. Don't okay. Don't go all there. right, all right, all right, Rainy. What is going on between these two? She over exaggerating. For real, me, I over her best friend. I don't want her. I don't want her. Then you tell, For explain what? to me what you're talking about at three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Why she your is girlfriend calling. is That's saying it. that That's to me? That's it. My girlfriend is up. Oh, my girlfriend, girlfriend is up. Why aren't you talking to her? Why are you talking to my girlfriend if your girlfriend is up? Okay. Why are you talking to my girlfriend? She be there with her. Who cares? You are my friend. So, so, you two have known each other since school. Right. Have you seen Brittany change? No. What, she's, she's been like this all her life. Uh, in every relationship? Well, I mean, not really, but I mean, she's been like this. She gonna go through it because her past relationship, they have cheated on her. Do you think that Candace is cheating on her too? Yeah. Oh. Huh. Why? Well, because, I mean, we was at the club. She got a number right in front of her. I mean, how am I? The number was my friend. No, and that's a lie. No, 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 and that's a lie. No, 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 no,
and you wanted to get tech the real the number that I got was for your girlfriend. A, right. So oh. Girlfriend, oh. Girlfriend, that's 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 the bad part. Hey, man, that's the bad part. Why is it in your car on your bill? Whoa, whoa. So, OK, no one trusts anyone. Clearly. Do you trust somebody that cheats? I wouldn't be with you. I would not be with somebody You're who cheats. You're not a cheater? No. You're not? Are you? Uh, oh, you think she's cheating on you? She might. Oh, yeah. You, oh, so you think I'm cheating on you? I don't know. Where are you trying to cheat on you? Clearly, I'm going through your fault. I'm, 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 I'm doing stuff for you. So where am I cheating? I don't know. You where, where's my time? Where's you my time? Maybe you be cheating during the times when I'm at work from 10 at night to 10 in the morning. Are you cheating then? Am I cheating when I'm cheating when you just said I'm sleeping and I'm not cheating? Let's find out because our polygraph examiner, Tim Acosta, is here to untangle this impossible. Let's bring him out. Welcome, Tim Acosta. Yes, come on. So, okay, so Tim, we did lie detector test for both Rainey and uh, and Candice here. So let's start with Rainey's. Uh, Results. Now I'm just reading from this. Tim, you will tell us whether Rainey's telling the truth or not. So here we go. Think you'll pass the lie detector test? Yeah, I'm gonna pass. And I get I need an apology. Because this is messed up. No, I'm not gonna apologize for you answering my girlfriend's phone call at three o'clock in the morning. Real? Sorry, All right, right let's start. <laughs> I'm not. We asked Rainey, do you tell Brittany that Candace is cheating to sabotage their relationship? Yeah. You said no, Tim? The polygraph determined that Rainey was being truthful. We asked Rainey, have you had any sexual contact with Candice since she has been in a relationship with Brittany? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Rainey was being truthful. Have you witnessed Candace have any sexual contact with a woman other than Britney since Candace and Britney have been in a relationship? You said no. Tip? The polygraph determined that Rainey was being truthful. We asked Rainey straight out, have you had any sexual contact with Candace? Rainey said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Rainey was being truthful. Thank you. I give you that, that you have not had sex with my girlfriend. I'm sorry for accusing you, but stop giving me reasons to. Stop, and stop answering phone calls, stop texting her, stop doing all of that. Let me take her, have her body take the chance. That's she fine. Hey, hey, me and her, I'll deal with her separately. Right cheat. now, it's me and you. Right cheat. now, it's me and you. Your loyalty is to me, not to Candace. I don't have to Stop answering her phone calls. Okay. Worry about her. All right. <laughs> Let's come to Candace's lie detector results. Anything you want to admit before we... Please, uh, please, yeah, no. Please. Anything? No, I don't no. have nothing. Are you okay. sure? Yes. All right, let's uh, find out. Let's find out. I don't know. All right. Please don't make me go off okay. on you right now. <laughs> please don't. Okay. Brittany, you might want to sit back in your chair. I don't know what this says. Yeah. Maybe I need to sit next to Candace. No, stay there. You, you mean sit next? Can you switch from spot? Switch, switch no, from no, spot. No, 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 stay there. Stay yeah. there. Sit. Did you know? Candace, I'll, I'll we are, we are, I don't know what, the, let's find out. You need to be quiet enough so we can hear the results. We asked. <laughs> we asked Candace, since you've been in a relationship with Brittany, have you had any sexual contact with the girl you used to live with? You said no, Tim. Up next, have you had any sexual contact with Rainey while you've been in a relationship with Brittany? Again, you said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Candace. <laughs> and later, when Krista and Calvin met, she was the other woman. When we started dating, he was cheating on his ex with me. Is Calvin cheating on Krista? You need sex three times a day. Are you having sex with him three times a day? No. <laughs> The truth is revealed. You're lying now. No, you're lying I'm not lying. Today on Trisha. I 
I'm here today to find out if my girlfriend Candace is cheating on me with multiple women, especially my best friend Rainy. See this ring she gave me? If she fails this test, she can have it back, because I'm done. There's no point. Do you trust her with your best friend, Rainy? No, not if you're talking at 3 o'clock in the morning. How can I trust either one of y'all? Ain't nobody cheating on you. You're not? Ain't nobody cheating okay, on you. Okay, if you're not cheating on me, then why are you Why are you texting ex-girlfriends? Why are you on the phone with Rainy at 3 o'clock in the morning? If I'm in a relationship with you, I obviously have to get along with your friends. If I'm not getting along with your friends, then I work overnight. Where you from, Paul? Why'd you do that? Why'd you meet Because what do I want with her? I got my own girlfriend. Do you think that Candace is cheating on her, too? Yeah. We asked Rainey, have you had any sexual contact with Candace since she has been in a relationship with Brittany? You said no. Rainey was being truthful. Let's come to Candace's lie detector results. Anything you want to admit before we... Please, uh... please, yeah, no. please. Anything? No, I don't no. have nothing. To... Are you okay. sure? Yes. All right, let's I'll... find out. Let's find out. Since you've been in a relationship with Brittany, have you had any sexual contact with the girl you used to live with? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Candace was being truthful. Since you've been in a relationship with Britney, have you had any sexual contact with your ex who contacted you on Facebook? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Candace was being truthful. <laughs> we asked Candace, have you had any sexual contact with Rainey while you've been in a relationship with Britney? Again, you said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Candace was being truthful. Have you had any sexual contact with any other women while you've been in a relationship with Brittany? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Candace was being truthful. But, right, but, but, there is a but. Yes, I, I, can I tell her this? Now, what you need to do in order for her to feel more secure is to jump when she says, to be totally under control, to let her continue paying your phone bill so she can spy on you, <laughs> to not, to not be a strong individual woman, which means doing your own damn washing, cleaning, etc. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck Thank in a very you. controlling relationship. Because you're going to need it. I tell you what, Candice, I, I, I mean, I apologise because initially I thought you know, maybe where there's smoke there was fire. She had me convinced. But, yeah, I, I hear from Tim I, and, and you are innocent of all this. So I'm going to do you a, a really great favour. You may not see it as a favour at the moment. In a few years' time, you will. OK, I'll keep her talking. You run. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, when Krista and Calvin met, she was the other woman. When we started dating, he was cheating on his ex with me. Is Calvin cheating on Krista? You need sex three times a day. Are you having sex with him three times a day? No. We That's don't even have sex once no. a day. <laughs> Revealed. You're lying now. No, you're lying no, 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 no. Today on Trisha. <laughs> Welcome, Krista. Krista and her husband, Calvin, are newlyweds and they have a beautiful two year old daughter. But Krista suspects Calvin has been sleeping with other women behind her back. Yep. And the evidence just keeps piling up. Krista says Calvin meets women in online chat rooms, he stays out all night, and even comes home without. He's come home without his boxes. Oh. Now, Calvin denies 
is it all? He says Krista is the only woman he hasn't cheated on. So let's listen to Krista's side of things. My husband Calvin and I have been together on and off for the last four years. Last August, we finally decided to get married. I have had it with Calvin. I don't trust anything he says. He's a big liar. He lies about everything. I keep giving Calvin the benefit of the doubt because of our kids, but I am so tired of this relationship. Calvin is a great father, but a lousy husband. I know Calvin is a liar and a cheat because when we started dating, he was cheating on his ex with me. I've caught Calvin in chat rooms trying to hook up with other females for sex. One time, he had the nerve to come home without any underwear on. If Calvin doesn't pass the slide detector test, I am done. I don't want my daughters thinking this is how a man treats a woman. Wow, Krista. Yeah. So, Krista, let me get this right. When you and Calvin met, he had a partner? He was yes. in a relationship? Yes. So you were the other woman? Yes. So to give me an example of some of the lies you think he, he tells you. He's lied to me about who he's with, where he's at, what he's doing. Um, he lies to me about how much money he has, if he has money. He tells you he's at some place and he's not there. Is somebody covering for him there? I've had um, a co-worker cover for him before at work, tell me that he was there and I would actually go up to the motel behind his job and spy and he wouldn't be there. I've caught him a couple times not at work. Oh. And I would confront him about it and he would admit that he wasn't at work, that he was hanging out with a friend is what his excuse was. A male was. or female a friend? Male friend. A he male friend. Mm -hmm. Now, do, do you go through his phone? I go through his phone, yeah. I what, have complete found access anything? to his phone. Um, I have found text messages before. I have found him in chat rooms. What um, kind of chat rooms are we talking about? Um, Flirt.com and sex.com. I mean, completely just for sex, to hook up with women specifically for sex. Now, the other thing that I heard is he, one time he came home without underwear. I'd he love to came hear home without underwear. He calls me on his break, tells me that he has no underwear, that he had an accident at work, and that he's not, that he threw his underwear well, doesn't away. Doesn't that mean maybe he's innocent if he's going to call you and tell you that? It could. It could, he could be innocent or he could be lying. So who do you, I don't think, know he, who do you think he's so cheating with? Um, I, I, I think he cheats with women at his work. What are you going to do if the lie detector comes back and tells you your worst fears are, are true? Because you've got a little girl. Do you stay together? Do you split up? What do you do? I'm torn right now. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. If he has cheated on me since we've gotten married, then I'm done. Okay. As always, there are two sides to every story, so let's hear Calvin's side of the story. Let's meet Calvin. Hi, Calvin. Yeah, how are you doing? How are you doing? Good, I'm good. good. good, good. So, do you feel appreciated in your relationship? No. You don't feel I get accused of cheating all the time. I go to work and she accuses me of cheating. I go to the gas station that she sends me to, I get accused of cheating. How many hours work are you doing? I work two jobs, so I'm like... 18 hours? 18 hours? Yeah, and you I know ain't got what? no but time. I ain't got no time You don't even go to, to work all the time. You tell me that you're at oh work, my. and I've caught you where you're not even at work oh, before. Oh, yeah. That was like one time because that I got out of work, I got no, work it's been early, a and I didn't want to come straight home before, before what? So you can uh, accuse me of cheating? I, I wouldn't I, accuse I, you of cheating if you weren't such a liar. You, you lied to me about out? every oh single God. thing. That's everything. because I can't do anything. So of course I gotta tell you a lie so I can do something. Of course you can't do anything because you can't be trusted because you'll tell me that you're at work hanging out with. Treat me like a kid. I got. I gotta have something. Well, I'm. Why home you without your boxes? I had an accident. I was sick. I was sick. Yeah, I had the flu. A grown I had ass man. A grown healthy hey, man I has an accident. I called you. I called. I called you and yeah. I told you. Okay, yeah. I yeah, was you sick. did. I was and that one, I can maybe day. give you the benefit of the doubt for. But that's but one. But you still didn't give me benefit of a doubt because you were like, why did you of throw your boxes not, away? Of course not. Because you lie. You ah. lie about everything. Do you? Even down to doing the dishes. What Do you? Yeah, I lie because I need. You don't give me no space at what all. What about this chat room stuff? Crystal, like. Crystal was a, she was away for a while. You know, I was, I was bored. I was lonely. I wanted another female to talk to. I ain't, I ain't got no female friends. It's just, you know, just conversation and stuff like that. So, what? Hang on. Why don't you ring up? Uh, just a, why don't you contact someone on Facebook? Why, why do you need a female I friend? A I am your female friend. Well, I'm your girlfriend at the time. Yeah. It doesn't. Well, why have you got a sex addiction or something? Mm. I don't oh, have male no. friends. Do you have a sex addiction? Yeah, I guess I do. Yeah, yeah. How often do you have to have sex to feel good? Once a day? Twice a day? Like three times a day. I'm three times a day? Three times a day. He doesn't even try to have sex with me. He says no, he has a sex no, no, addiction, no, no, no. but he doesn't even no, try no, to have sex with me. No, that's because the only reason why I don't want to have sex with her is because she's constantly nagging me. Who, who wants to no, have no, sex with someone? Just a minute, just a minute. So, 
You need sex three times a day. Are you having sex with him three times a day? No. So who are you having we sex with? We don't even have sex once no, a day. No, because I don't I don't want to lay down with you after we just got done to an argument. You need to not lie. You lie you about everything. You need to give me space. I, I can't you don't do need space. I, can't I am your wife. She, I, I am even, your I wife and you have children. You whatever. don't need space. You need whatever. to make whatever. up to your only oh, priority. Whatever, whatever, now, whatever, Calvin, whatever. If, you, if you do pass this lie detector test, and I don't know whether you have or not, do you need things to change? I need her to get off my back and stop accusing me if of doing something. If he passes something. this lie detector test, things will change automatically. He will not be accused anymore. He can do what he wants you to can't, do. You can't he can have friends. About, yeah, yeah, you can't. I will change things. Don't worry about how yeah, I change. I ain't got to change anything. I'm doing everything right. I take care. I got so two jobs. So you say. So you say you're doing everything I right. I take care of all the honors. I take care of my son. I take care of two kids that ain't even mine. Constantly. Name a man that will do that. So let's find out whether you've been telling the truth or not, whether you're cheating or not. Let's get to the lie detector test result. <laughs> says anything to admit. Gotcha. I ain't got nothing to admit. So I told the truth about everything. Okay, let's see. Calvin, we asked you during the night in question when you came home without your underwear, is it true you really had an accident? You said yes. The lie detector determined. Up next, have you had any sexual intercourse with any other person other than Krista? You said no. The lie detector determined. Yeah, right. I swear to God, baby. This is what you I, I said that you were going to come I, on here and do, too. Is it your old oh, lie detector is going to be wrong? Man, whatever. You are the fact. Get off my stage. Is revealed. You're lying now. No, you're lying I'm not lying. Today on Trisha. My husband Calvin and I have been together on and off for the last four years. Last August, we finally decided to get married. I know Calvin is a liar and a cheat because when we started dating, he was cheating on his ex with me. One time, he had the nerve to come home without any underwear on. If Calvin doesn't pass this lie detector test, I am done. Do you feel appreciated in your relationship? No. You no. don't feel. I get accused of cheating all the time. I go to work and she accuses me of cheating. I go to the gas station that she sends me to, I get accused of cheating. You got a sex addiction? Yeah, I guess I do. Yeah, yeah. How often do you have to have sex to feel good? Once a day, twice a day? Like three times a day. Hey, are you having sex with him three times a day? No. So let's find out whether you've been telling the truth or not, whether you're cheating or not. Let's get to the lie detector test result. <laughs> yeah. Calvin, I don't know what this says anything to admit. I ain't got nothing to me. I saw the truth about everything. Okay, let's see. Calvin, we asked you during the night in question when you came home without your underwear, is it true you really had an accident? You said yes. The lie detector determined you were not being truthful. <laughs> I swear to God, baby. This is what you I, I said that you were going to come I, on here and do, too. Is it your old lie detector is going to be wrong? Man, whatever, whatever. Come on with the next Can I question. Keep going? Yeah, keep going, keep going. We asked you, Calvin, have you ever had sexual contact with any woman you have met through the online chat room since in a relationship with Krista? You said no. The lie detector determined you were being truthful. Yeah. One. I ain't met nobody. So, hang on, if that's right, then the other one was right as well. We'll come back to that in just a minute. Calvin, while in a relationship with Krista, have you had any sexual intercourse with any other person other than Krista? You said no. The lie detector determined you were being truthful. <laughs> Calvin, we asked, while in a relationship with Krista, have you had any sexual contact with any other person other than Krista? You said no. The lie detector determined you were being truthful. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. So start working out with our counselor about how you can make how you can get to feel appreciated and how you can feel a little lighter in your mood. Things will change. Things will change? For sure. Great. So go be together. <laughs> the truth is revealed. You're lying now. No, you're lying I'm not lying. Lying. Today on Trisha.
you for being a part of the show. Remember, we're about real people talking about real stories and me trying to come up with some real solutions. Take care.